Yeah. All right, guys, welcome back to a, another MTG Duck Tech stream with Cameron. Um, I know it's been a while. Um, yeah, so we're back, and today we're going to be playing a really weird looking duck that I found on the uh, 5 or for competitive leagues or whatever. Uh, for the first week of New Standard with Dominaria, or not Dominaria, M19 Legal. Um, so this is a take on Mono Green Stompy, um, which is a deck we've played before. So we have uh, our mana base here of 24 Forest. Um, it's a little weird that we're not like splashing Black for Scrounger or playing any Deserts, but we're going to see why in just a second. Um, our creatures are Lanor Elves and uh, four Lanor Elves, four Druid of the Cow. So we just need uh, another creature that can ramp mana because we're playing some higher end cards here. I'm sure you see the uh, Gigantosaurus here. We'll talk about that in just a second. Um, so we have those. Uh, for more of our creatures, we have two Ronis. For Steel Leaf Champion, obviously one of the best cards in uh, the Mono Green Stompy list. We have three Bristling Hydra, which is a card that we haven't seen for a while. Um, so we haven't seen that since the Teamer Energy deck got the Banhammer. Um, but this card's actually great because in this deck we're mainly going to be using it uh, to just get have it hex proof threat. 4-3 uh, at any time. Um, we don't have any other energy producers, but a 5-4 essentially hexproof creature for 4 is a pretty good rate. Um, and then we have 4 Vine Mare, which is the really interesting card in this deck. So Vine Mare, if you're not familiar, is from the new core set. It is a 4 mana 5-3 with hexproof, and it can be blocked by black creatures. Um... So that's super relevant. It can be blocked by Glintsleaf Siphoner. It can be blocked by Gaunty, Gifted Aetherborn, the Scarab God. Also, just having Hexproof is huge because the, this card dodges a Braid, Harness Lightning, Lightning Strike, Vrasic Contempt, Fatal Push. It just dodges so many different things. So this card is going to be um, probably our all-star here. And then we have uh, four Gigantosaurus. Which is, if you're not familiar from the new set, it is 5 green, and it is a 10-10 vanilla. Which is a pretty good rate. Um, it's not a super exciting card, but it should be fun to play. And it has some synergies with some of the enchantments that we're playing in the deck. And then we have Carnage Tyrant, which is our six, our, excuse me, 7-6 Trample Hexproof Can't Be Countered card that is going to be a nightmare for the control strategies. Um, so, rounding out the main deck, we have Blossoming Defense, which I'm sure everyone knows. It's plus two, plus two, hexproof. It's great against targeted removal. Um, and then we have Blanchwood Armor here. So, that's our, our reprint uh, that is featured in Core Set 19. And Shannon Creature gets plus one, plus one for each forest you control. So, that's, that's the main reason that we're playing 24 Forest is because we want to get as much value out of that as possible. Um, so, like, put on our, our Vine Mirror. That card's going to be great. And then we have Cartouche. And uh, Cartouche of Strength. So that's a green Cartouche. Um, these Cartouches didn't really see a lot of play in, in Standard. Um, so when Cartouche of Strength enters the battlefield, you can have the Enchanted Creature fight a creature that your opponent controls. Um, so that's pretty cool, especially put on our 10-10 vanilla. But the the best part, the best upside to that is that it also gives the creature plus some plus some and trample. So our Gigantosaurus is going to be doing the best impression of Galta Primal Hunger, which we played in our last um, our last time we played this deck. So we have a lot of a lot of changes here. Um, we're going to move on to the sideboard here in just a sec. So 
So the sideboard I'm not like super in love with, um, but in the, in the sideboard we have uh, two Shaper's Sanctuary. Um, so that card is super great against like target removal. It's going to allow us. It's going to allow us to draw a card when one of our creatures is targeted. So whenever a creature you control becomes a target of a spell or ability, an opponent controls you may draw a card. We have three natural lives to deal with um, artifacts and enchantments. There's a ton of artifacts and annoying uh, white enchantments that we have to deal with in this format. We have two Gift of Paradise, which is allow us to uh, ramp a little bit. So when it enters the battlefield, you gain three life. Uh, you enchant target land, and it has add two mana of any one color. So that's going to be good against like our aggro strategies or just to power out our bigger boys. We have three Prowling... Uh, I can never pronounce this card's name. Uh, Serp apart. So that's our uh, three mana four three cat snake creature. It can't be countered, and creature spells you control can't be countered. So that's going to turn all of our creatures into uncounterable threats, assuming that card lives. We have Ripjaw Raptor. Um, so that's the Exelon Dinosaur. It's a four five for four, which is already a pretty good rate. Um, it has Enrage whenever it is dealt damage, you draw the card, so that, that card's going to be great against decks you want to chump block against, um, or have low to the ground threats we can just straight out block, or have uh, burn spell threats. And then we have three Arborback Stomper, that's our sad impression of uh, Thrag Tuss and Standard, or Obstinate Bailout, I guess. That's our 5 4 for 5 with trample. When there's the battlefield, you gain 5 life. So we have some hedges against the more aggressive decks as well as the control decks. Um, so we're going to play a friendly league tonight and see how this deck performs. It looks very fun. So we shall see how this goes. All right, so we found an opponent. And we lost a die roll, so. Hmm, this sounds interesting. Um, I think we have to mulligan it. We don't have a lot of action early on. And, yeah, I mean, the Mind Mirror plus Cartouche is great. Um, well, maybe we don't have to mulligan. We have a lot of ropes. We'll, we'll try it. We'll try it. Alright, well, we're going to give this one a shot. Um, if they have removal for elves, it could be pretty bad for us. But... We'll see what our opponent's doing. Don't know what our opponent's up to here. Sorry, this isn't super exciting yet, but... 
guess our opponent is having a hard choice on the first card of the game that they're going to play. <clears throat> what is our opponent doing here? This is this crazy stuff. Okay, they're playing a forest, and they're starting on a land of war elves. Okay. That's interesting that it took them that long to decide to do that. <laughs> Looks like we could be playing the mirror here. Okay. So I have, uh, I have chat up on a another device here so that's why we don't have the uh, normal chat that we have on this side we're gonna get rid of this so we have as much gameplay here as possible okay so they, it looks like they're the green black version Ronus on turn two we can actually match that with our own Ronus Hmm. So the question here is, do we want to deploy our Ronus, or do we want to deploy a Druid of the Cow and have it stick? I think the answer is we want to get our Ronus down. We're just going to go ahead and mirror our opponent's play. Um... No, I don't want to concede this match. I imagine our opponent's going to be able to attack with Runus here, which is, is pretty brutal. Yep. Alright, we could be in a bunch of trouble here. So actually, we're going to be able to... Um, put a cartouche on our Ronus and have it fight that Steel Leaf Champion. So we're taking 5 here, which is pretty gross, but... we kill that Steel Leaf. Um... I mean, I think we're still in trouble here, but we'll see. Okay, Branch Walker is fine. Um, we'll be able to pump the Branch Walker, which is annoying. Okay, so they hit a thrashing Bronodon off the top. That's that's pretty annoying. Um, yeah, so they're gonna pump the branch walker and get in for five. I don't know if chomping here is correct. It probably isn't. It's a tough decision. They have their mana established enough. I, you know, I think we're just taking six here. Um, <sighs> Ronus is so good in this mirror match. Um, I have a tough decision here. Okay, so I think what we're going to do here is get down this vine mirror because so that's going to allow Ronus to attack or block um, and we're, we're going to hold him back on defense duty here so they're not going to be able to kill our vine mirror because it is hexproof um, so Ronus currently has yeah the branch water is fine um, so Ronus currently has Death Touch and Trample, which, if you're not familiar with that interaction, it's super good. Um, we'll 
Looks like they're playing Bronodon. Okay. I mean, if they want to... Okay, so no attacks. That seems correct. Alright, so now... They can blow up any enchantments that we play, which is pretty annoying. But what we're going to do is get down double um, Druid of the Cow. So next turn, we're going to get to play Gigantosaurus. Um, it's a card I never thought I would ever cast. And uh, some other things, hopefully. <clears throat> we have very good blocks here. Um, block Runas can block Elves, and we can block Bronodon Scrounger. Okay. All right, so now we are going to get down. Hmm, okay, this is a. I gotta think about this one. So they have one, two, three, four, five. They can't attack with the runes yet. Uh, playing this Blanchard armor is pretty poor. I think we want to get down. Hmm. Blanche of Rammer is pretty weak here. Um, maybe the Cartouche is the, the best card to get down here. Yeah, let's get that Cartouche down. <sighs> yeah, they're, they're Hellbent, so we're going to fight the Brown on here. They're going to sack it, I'm sure. Wait. Oh, they're going to pump it. Okay. Yeah, that's a blowout. I completely forgot that they could do that. That's gross. Okay. Um, that's rough. I'd really like to hit some lands here. Um... Brownhound's off the table, though, so... If we can... Oh, the Runners can't block. This is... We're in bad shape. We're in super bad shape here. Are they an alpha? They're not. I... So they can pump it. One, two, three, four, five, six. They can pump it twice. It's a little dicey. Uh, I mean, it gives it trample anyway, so we're just going to take it. I don't know if we can win this game, though. Eleanor Elves is fine. Okay, land is good. Um, I think we're just passing here. This is uh, it's a, a silly game. Their opponents up to here. I'm guessing they're probably pumping with their innings. Verderous Gearhulk is brutal. That is so bad. Let's see what they target. Okay, one or elves. And one or elves. Okay, I think we're dead. Guys, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're dead. I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> I didn't attack. Okay, I guess we live one more turn. <laughs> Another Gigantosaurus, huh? 
It's a tough one. Um. Okay, so if we put the Blanchfoot armor on Ronas, he gains four. I'm guessing this is probably getting blocked, right? Math and this is crazy. Ooh, yeah, we're dead. Okay. Alright. Well, I'll be right back right enough to think about the sideboard. Um, Again, I'm not in love with the sideboard. Okay, so I think we're pretty unlikely to uh, win this game. Um, this deck seems more tailored to beat the control or aggro matchups. Um, I think I definitely like Ripjar Raptor in this matchup. Um, so we're going to bring in two of those. And... Maybe like one or two. Man, Arbor Rack Stomper is pretty weak, actually. Um, I do like Rip Jar after a lot. Um, yeah, I don't think we want Arbor Rack Stomper. Maybe, maybe we do over like like a Vine Mare. So, um. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try it like that. We brought in um, some Arbacks and some Ripjaws. Ripjaw seems really great in this matchup, actually. That's an easy mulligan. Converted mana cost of our hand is pretty high here. I think it's probably another. Let's we'll see what our opponent does. Like, if they mulligan, we might be able to keep this, um, since we're on the play. Like, if we scry into an elf, this hand's pretty reasonable, um, because they're not going to have a lot of removal for the elf. Oh, boy. All right, we're going to keep it. It's a little risky. That's, that's fine. We have a turn two play. Hopefully our opponent doesn't have elf turn one. That would be... Uh, pretty gross. Alright, so our opponent leaves on Blooming March and nothing, which is a good sign for us. Alright, if we draw a land, we're in great shape here. If we get down a Ripjaw Raptor, Heart of Kieran, Heart of Kieran was, uh, so if we won this game, there's some consideration to bringing in, um, to bringing in a Naturalize. Um, we do get down a Steel Leaf Champion, which is pretty good. Our opponent could do literally the exact same thing, because... Alright, they didn't pay life. This could be a 
A scrounger. Okay. That, I mean, that crew is hard to carry him pretty well. We get to do... I mean, we get to smash for at least five next turn, which is pretty awesome, though. Um, we may be able to race this Heart of Kieran, actually. Land was a good draw. Um, um, okay, so I think that we're going to want to crack in here. For five. Okay, and then main phase two, we're gonna play this rip jar after. Find Mare's super not exciting in this matchup. Um I expect this gonna be amazing against our like Grixis matchups. Branch Walker is Branch Walker is fine. They revealed Galta, okay. And they bend it, so that's a good sign I guess. Um I guess they could they could block the uh they can block the steel leaf now, I guess, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, I I may have uh I may have made a mistake by not bringing in uh, naturalize effects. Uh, we're gonna put Runas here. Attack with both of these guys. They were bl they were blossoming defense. This is an unusual block. Oh, they just want to trade. Okay, that's fine with me. Uh, we are completely fine with that. I think what they could have here. Yeah, that's not very good. Okay. <laughs> they can't attack, and that was a good draw. That was a that was a super good draw. Um I wanna make sure that whatever I hit uh, dies. So we're gonna put it on the brown on there. It's guaranteed. Maybe I should have put it on yeah, get rid of that, that's fine. Okay. The chance of them killing us is pretty unlikely, but I think I just want to crack in with the the rip jaw here. Um, maybe it was correct to attack with the Ronus, but I I just kind of play it safe. I think I have a Galta here, which would be... Or can they play Galta? Gear Hulk. Um, does that matter? Does this Gear Hulk matter? We'll have to see. It may not. Okay. Can of service and the cards bad. <laughs> um, mm, that was a tough choice. I think we're just cracking in here with the Ronus. Actually no no so we're gonna we're gonna attack with the with the rip draw. Um 
Yeah, we're gonna tag with the rip jaw because we have boss main defense. Um, plus Ronus activation, so it's a pretty safe attack. We don't have lethal, right? Yeah, there's no way we have lethal. So we're gonna we're gonna attack with rip jaw. Um, if they want to block, they're gonna lose a creature at least. If you don't block, you're dead. Like, you have to block. <laughs> Are they not going to block? That's that's insane. Okay, yeah, they're going to block. Alright, so we're going to Blossoming Defense here. We're just going to keep our Ripjaw alive. And... Yeah, we're just going to leave it at that. We're going to draw a card. And play our vine there. Okay, so now I think we're in pretty good shape. Uh, we have a hex proof threat, and we have two uh, big creatures, so our runa should be alive. So let's see what our opponent has to answer this. <clears throat> so we can pretty profitably block the murderous gear hulk here. Um, or the scrounger. It's kind of a weird matchup to play in our first round here. Gross, 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 gross. Well, I should have lethal. They can't kill us, right? There's just three. I don't think they can kill us. We don't have lethal. Okay, I thought we had, I thought we had a uh, Blanchwood armor, but it was Drew to the cow. I'm not really familiar with playing with that card. Galta. Okay. And Branchwalker. Okay. They can only really attack here with, yeah, with nothing, actually. I think the Galtas is going to kill us. Player Gigantosaurus. So we can block the Galta, so it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not a great matchup. <laughs> We're, we're aiming more for the, the decks that get hosted by Vinemare, and Vinemare is absolutely atrocious in this matchup. Uh, run is so gross. Doing a Carnage Tyrant.
This horse is weird. We need like a cartouche or something. Let's make it flyer. No, it's just a five five. Okay. Are they gonna alpha us here? No. Sports is bizarre. Um, geez. Okay, I don't know what we need to do here. Okay, land is a fine draw from our opponent. What do they have in this yard here? Heart of Kieran, Brandon, Branch Walker, Galta. Is there a part of lethal here? Alright, so we have to not die this turn. So that's blocking there. This is blocking there. This is blocking. This is blocking there. This is blocking there. This is blocking there. This is blocking there. And these are blocking here. I don't think we can die. Have to let me know if there is a better block, but I don't think we can die. Pump that we take two. <clears throat> yeah, I don't I don't think we can die here. Um I guess it's possible. So yeah, that block's there. That block's there. Did I have better blocks? I don't think I did. <laughs> it's a complicated combat stuff. So. For sure. So, all right. So as it stands, we're taking one, two, three, four. The most we can take is seven. I'm pretty sure. I think we're okay. We're just gonna draw a card off of Raptor. Okay. Our opponent's dead, right? Another Galta. Gross.
Yeah, we have we have game here. Oops. Yes, yeah, so this is lethal. Um, so tag with both of these, and our opponent blocks, and then we just blossom and defense the one they don't block. So this is lethal. Now it's seven, they're dead. Okay, so that was a that was a funky game. Um, I said, "Isn't that perfect?" Yeah, it sure is. That's how magic works sometimes. So our opponent is dead. And we're on to game three. Um, I think I want maybe like one naturalized effect. Um, we're going to shave a Druid of the Cow and try that. Just, just we just want like an answer to Heart of Kieran or something. Because um, that card is pretty annoying. this is keepable everybody it's it's pretty close uh, we're gonna try it it's a friendly league um, we have turn two action into potentially turn three action they don't play a lot of removal because they're mainly mono green no elf a ramp yeah elephants fine elephants I mean it's annoying but they're not technically doing anything turn one they're just creating an energy uh, Blanchard armor could be good with our um, find me. Like if they want to spend this turn playing elephant, I guess that's okay. Yeah, they're gonna spend this turn playing elephant. That is completely fine. Um. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get elephant down. Like to hit like another relevant three drop, but force is, is certainly not a relevant three drop. I don't think they're gonna be able to kill this, so we should be able to get Vine Mare down. Vine Mare is so terrible in this matchup. I I'm super high on this card because I think it's really, really good. But it just doesn't do anything in the mirror. It's pretty gross how bad it is actually. Harkirin's pretty nuts, actually. That was a good draw. A box elephant. Um, yeah, a box elephant. That's a good draw. Okay. I mean, we're taking at least four here from the Heart of Karen. Yeah, um, I'm going to offer the trade if they attack with Elephant. Like, if they have a Blossoming Defense, it's fine. <sighs> this Galta? Gross. Pretty sure we lose now. I think this game's probably over now. Yep. I don't know if there's a way to win this game. Um, can fight that guy. Hmm. I'm almost certain this game is over. Um. 
I'm gonna attack with the uh, the steel leaf. No, I'm not, because they have Delta. Yeah, this game's over. Alright, we're done. We're done with this one. And on to the next one. That was gross. We'd like to uh, not play against the, I guess, pseudo mirror um, in the rest of our rounds. Because Vine Mirror and Gigantosaurus are terrible. Are terrible in this matchup. Vine Mirror is going to be so good though if we get like a Grixis matchup or pretty much anything except Mono Green. And we won the die rolls. Yeah, we're going to play first. We're going to keep this because we have a Land of Worlds. <laughs> so our opponent kept as well. Yeah, I mean, we have Terminal Elves. Uh, turn to either Druid or 3-drop if they don't answer Elves and we draw 3-drop. So th this hand's looking pretty darn good. Spire Blood, or uh, Sulfur Pulse. Okay, so we actually get to get down Druid here and attack for one. Next turn we get to get down Vine Mare, which, like, if they don't counter it, it in those colors, like, if they, I mean, if they don't counter it, we probably just, they probably just can't deal with it. Um, I guess you could have, like, a Whirler Virtuoso or something. This is probably Grixis. Like, I don't really see the point of not playing, well, it could be, it could be, uh, blue-red, but it's most likely Grixis, I would say. So we play around Syncope. Heat. Uh, we're gonna try for the Bristling Hydra first. And it resolved. Okay. So, uh, the reason I did that is because Essence Scatter on the Bristling Hydra I don't care about as much as the Essence Scatter on our Vine Mare. Um, and because they're, because they're red, I don't think they're gonna have a lot of ways to beat this Bristling Hydra. Are they just blue-red control? Cultivator's Caravan. Oh, they could be like a Tezzeret type duck, I guess. Okay, well this should probably seal the deal here. I don't think they can beat this card. Our, uh, our Hexproof Threats are going to be pretty sweet. I guess I could have Hour of Devastation, like, that's kind of annoying, it kills most of our board. But then they still have to be Carnage Tyrant, um, and then I'm going to play Vine Mare next turn, so, uh, we're in good shape. Like, with the Sweltering Suns isn't even really bad for us because we get to keep Tyrant in. Yeah, P is fine. That's completely fine. Alright, so we're just suiting this Carnage Tyrant up with armor next turn. Um, and attacking for a million. Yep, yeah, and the game ends. Okay. Alright, so that is the power of our Hexproof Threats. And that's what I wanted to kind of showcase in the first match, but we didn't get to see that. Um, hmm, this seems like a, a Shaper Sanctuary matchup, maybe? And probably a Naturalized matchup. Um, we're gonna shave all of these Gigantosaurus's I. This card probably shouldn't be in the stack. It's funny, but... <laughs> um, yeah, we'll keep. <coughs> I 
Okay, we get to get a turn one elves down, which is great. And turn two druid. This is uh, this is the dream. We're probably playing if it, if our elves lives. We're probably playing steel leaf next turn, but looks like our elves is gonna live. They could have an essence scatter though. Um, it's a tough one. I think we. I think we're gonna attack. Let's see what happens. There's probably nothing. If they want to counter this, this way, yeah, they don't. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, braid on that is like best case scenario. That's super good. Oh, land was so good. Alright, we're gonna get down our Hydra. Okay. Land's a good draw. Um Alright, so we're going to smash for four. And then we're gonna play a Ronus. Let's see our opponent does here. Golden Lotus, that's an interesting one. Do we have lethal? Four, five, nine, two, three, twelve. I mean we we have lethal, but it's a bit risky, so we're gonna Sir Pundas. Put our opponents to one. Thank you, Rob. Thank you very much. So our devastation doesn't even save them. Oh, Metalwork Colossus? It's not going to save you, friend. Let's give it haste and also fling it, which I'd be... They're drawing 10 cards? <laughs> Jeez. What a crazy deck. I don't think it matters, but that's freaking awesome. That's so cool. I love Metalwork Colossus. That deck's awesome. With two different... Uh, Two different flings in standard right now, basically, because of thud. So that's like super awesome. <coughs> Pona, you have to have something really good here. Yep. Pia's Pia's not gonna do it. I'm sorry. Their deck is so cool, though. Card treasure map, a breed, a breed. Okay. Pona, you're dead. You know that, right?
Yeah, that kills you. I'm sorry, opponent. What? Oh my gosh, I messed up, guys. I messed up so hard. We could die because I screwed up so bad. Oh my goodness. Okay. Classic magic online. What is this? Is it like a torment of hailfire or something? Omniscience. Oh my lord. Woo! <laughs> Well, we get to see <laughs> we get to see how sweet our opponent's deck is, I guess. Yep, 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 yep. You can do whatever you need to. They're drawing another ten cards. That's pretty cool. They have omniscience in play. Plus double suckers. <laughs> oh man, this is so sweet. I'm actually really glad I fucked this up. Because we get to see this like Super sweet duck. That's so cool. <laughs> yep. <sighs> yep. Alright, let's see what they do. I'm sure we're dead. <laughs> this is so cool. This deck's awesome. <coughs> We're dead, yeah. Right, let's let's let our opponent have fun. Let's let our opponent have fun, that would be cool. Oh, well they didn't want to have fun, okay. Alright, um Here we're another naturalize. <laughs> And we're going to take out a Blanchard Armor. Okay, so we should have won that game. If we lose this match, I am a complete freaking idiot. Um, we got them all this. That's way better. We'll keep that one. Oh, yeah, we'll keep that one on top. It took its own, probably turn two Ronus, unless they have like Spire Bluff Magnus Spray. Okay. Post Suck is so awesome. <coughs> it's like actually really fucking cool. Yeah, that works. We could be in trouble here, actually. Um, guess if they play a creature, we have it. We have it handled. Um, yeah, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to mess up the last game so hard. Oh, that was that was gross. But our opponent's deck is so freaking awesome that it's really cool. I think it's a scry, which is gross. <sighs> Normally I would kill that, but they play either Flux Reservoir. Which like I mean this we we, we we won the smash guys. I just I screwed up so badly. Yeah, that one needs to die immediately. Yeah, that that one can't stay. They could have metallic rebuke, which would be disgusting. Okay, it lives. Alright, uh result. Mm -hmm. 
Christ, we're getting so boned here. This is so annoying. We get punished because I accidentally clicked incorrectly. That's that's so gross. Magic Online can be so frustrating sometimes. Another treasure map. Okay. If we don't draw a land, we're probably just dead. Okay, we drew a land. I'm sure this probably isn't resolving, but we'll uh, we'll try it. It resolved. So the energy trigger on the stack, you yep. know. Yeah, it's done. Okay. I think this game's over. Padim, okay. We can kill Padim. That's that's fine. I think we need to prioritize killing Padim. I want them drawing extra cards. We really need to hit like another land. Pwn's going to be able to draw three cards a turn here coming up. I don't know what we expected. We registered four Gigantosaurus in our deck today. This, this game should have been a victory. I, uh... I just made a mistake that, uh, it's totally possible in Paper Magic where you attack for lethal and... It just doesn't work. Reservoir is really disgusting. We need to naturalize like right now. <sighs> We're almost assuredly dead next turn. Let's let our opponent have their fun. Uh, this game, we won this game, but I apparently am not very good at stacking damage on Magic Online. There's Omniscience. It's so crazy there's a duck playing this. Yep. Uh, yep. <laughs> There's a casual 20 power on board. Uh, we can't beat that either. Okay, I mean, we're not dead yet.
Yeah, that's a bad one. It's bad, 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 bad. Feinmer. Um, Feinmer is actually decent here. The, the problem is that they have omniscience in play. I mean, I got I got attack with her. It's like uh, it's just there's just no reason not to. If they have like a fling effect or just super dead. Sure. Yeah, so getting the tyrant on is sweet. Um, I'm gonna just attack with the the vine mare. Like I, they they cannot be drawing dead. Like there's no way they have they have omniscience in play. Like there's so I'm so happy that if we lose, it's two omniscience. Like that's so amazing. What a terrible, terrible draw. What a terrible draw. It could have been like anything else. Um, it's actually a tough one. You yeah, want to talk with? We're gonna talk with the tyrant. Um, because if they, if they block, then we can kill the the colossus. If we sneak out a win after I completely punted the fuck out of the last game. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! We got it. All right. I mean, we did win the, the game before that. But, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, like, I never punished, I guess. That we we snuck that one out. That was not was not a well deserved win. I mean, we technically won the game before that. I just didn't assign damage correctly because Magic Online allows you to uh, not win the game when you like clearly have lethal. But that was, that was cool. That our post deck was sweet. Um, Omniscience is. It's, it's pretty scary. I guess it's not as scary when they can't cast, like, Enter the Infinite and, like, Emrakul and stuff like that. But it, it's still really scary. Alright, we'll be right back. Sorry about that. We are back with round three. Um, Vine Mare so far hasn't been super impressive. Oh, it was good in our game one against. I mean, we 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 should won the game two, but. We're on the on the draw here. I, I 
I'm assuming. So hopefully we get like a sweet, a, a deck that like can't beat Vindmere, so we can sh showcase the power of that card. Ooh. We have to mulligan this. It's so appealing, but we got mulligan. This is insanely loose, but we're keeping it. Our opponent's mulligan down pretty far. I put him all to four. So we're gonna keep we're gonna keep this one. Um, that's a good draw. Okay. All right. So our opponent mulled to four. I mean, they it it's not impossible they have a fail push here. Um, if they have a push, they're likely on constrictor. Okay, they don't have a push yet. Let's get like a siphoner here. Um, oh, they're in zombies. Okay, yeah, zombies. I don't, I don't know this matchup. I haven't played against uh, the new zombie deck, but it's exciting because it's a super interesting deck for sure. I loved the Amonkhet standard zombie deck. The one that won the Pro Tour. Really cool deck. Um, Deathburn could be problematic here. Okay, so they have two cards in hand. This smells like a Fatal Push. Um, I don't think... Okay, so it smells like a Fatal Push. So... If we block it and they have a fatal push, what does this cost to bring back? Three. Okay. Ah, uh, you know what? We're gonna block it. This smells like a this smells like a fatal push, but <laughs> also smells like a bait attack. Yep, it was a bait attack. Okay. I, I don't think we can lose this game. They could have Liliana untouched by death, um, but it doesn't do literally anything on the sport except kill our one or else. Um, so I think we're in excellent shape here. Yeah, I'm going to crack in here. Um, I'm super, super excited to play this Blanchwood Armor, but I'm going to wait in case that they have Ross of Contempt. Okay. Alright, so they gave, the game's over. Like, they, like I guess Leon's Mastery is like kind of annoying... But they're dead because we have Ronus, so. Okay, Masters. Okay, they scooped.
Alright, so, I don't really know much about this matchup, to be honest. Um, I know this deck is, like, pretty good again. Um, because we've got, we got Grave... Graveyard Marshal, I think, is the new 2-drop. And we got a Diagraph Ghoul reprint and a Death Baron reprint. And Liliana. But I don't know what I need to side in against this. Um... Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna run it back. I'm gonna run it back for now and see. Um, I it's just I'm learning about this matchup, so yeah, we're just gonna run it back. Hands <laughs> fine. You're gonna keep this. Uh, we could be in some trouble if they have, like, multiple one-drop starts. Um, the only problem I have with the screen deck is the, uh, the lack of removal. Okay, we're taking two. Um, I mean, Mono Green doesn't give great options. Okay, no two drop is super excellent for us. Um, if this does not get removed, I am we are one hundred percent blocking this uh, Diagraph Ghoul. Um, unless I have a Lord, obviously. It's probably a, oh, it did not get removed. Okay, so they have Death Baron. Death Baron's problematic. Um, not actually, it's, it's really not because we have bonus. Okay, I mean we're taking three here. That's that's pretty gross. Um, this matchup might be kind of funky, actually. I think I want to get down. Hmm, it's a tough decision. You know, I think. They have Death Touch, hey? Alright, we're gonna get down this Runus. Uh, we're taking a beating next turn at least five. But... I think we're okay. And Death Touch is, is, a, is quite a problem for this deck. Gross, another lord? Jeez. Attack <coughs> <coughs> <Yeah>, for seven. <coughs> um, yeah, we're gonna block the big guy here because next turn we're just gonna cartouche and kill the... Um, Death Burn. Okay. Um, next turn we're taking at least five, but we got rid of the Death Touch. So that's, that's like super important because that's what we can't beat is the Death Touch. Mastery. I think this deck probably wants like Prey Upon or something in the sideboard. Um, just as like an additional removal spell. Let's still go with Ronas. He has Death Touch. Knight of Malice is an interesting one. Okay, so they can't kill this. Uh, 
Uh, just giving both their... Okay, that's not a zombie, so giving it menace isn't really super impactful, actually. I don't think this game's over, per se, but we are in a quite a heap of trouble here. Or the curse is really scary. Oh, no, 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 they just use the ability, okay. I mean, yeah, we're, we're going to double block that, unfortunately. No, goodbye, Biden there. That's a good draw. Um. Hmm. It's kind of tough. I think we. I think we just hold back. Land mastery is disgusting, and we cannot beat that. So hopefully, I don't do that. Another lord, okay. Uh, Cartouche should be an insane draw. Five mirrors a gun. We're just gonna sandbag these attacks until we have lethal, I think. Ruby Marshall is pretty scary, actually. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna tie with Ernest here. The uh, Graveyard Marshal is a little bit concerning here. Um, oh, got him. So next turn, if we alpha with Renas, Vine Mare, you can't attack opponent. You literally can't attack. If you attack, you lose. So you can't do that.
<coughs> I guess our best draw here is uh, Blanchwood Armor on Ronus. Like, it's, it's super crazy. Okay, so if we alpha. opponent has a million toughness to put in front of us. Okay. This is a, actually a very tough decision. I think I want to attack with Furnace. Yeah, we're just going to attack with Furnace. Corona has Landlord, we're in trouble. That constitutes as a Landlord. Hmm. What is this, 6 5? with that. It's a tough one. Tough one for sure. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're not just dead unless so okay. Okay, uh, I think we're fine. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna attack with Runus. Trying to think how we die here. Liliana kills us, right? No, because I can't pay for Lord. Actually, don't think we can die unless we have Contempt. Does that kill us? That might kill us, actually. No, because I have the top down on that Lord. 1, 2, 3, double block, double block. We take 6. Question is, can we kill them on the crackback? Maybe with this stupid vanilla dinosaur. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yep. We kill them on the crackback. There's no way for this for for them to kill us. All right. We are going into round four. We are two and one currently. Man, Cartouche has been super good. Jeez. Killing stuff and... Yeah, killing stuff and giving it... Giving them trample is great. I don't know about uh, I don't know about Gigantosaurus, but I guess it was like super good there, just because we had Ronus. Like, 
I guess the card's probably good. I, I just feel like it should have trample. <laughs> it's five green. It's also a 10 10, so I, I don't know how to feel about that card yet. I haven't played enough games with this deck yet to figure that out. We won the die roll. Alright, this hand has. Turn to. Uh, Steel Leaf, so we're going to keep it. Looks like our opponent also kept seven. Uh, I doubt they're going to have one mana removal. Like, the Grixis deck sometimes plays, like, Magnus Bray or, like, the, the Red Black deck, but I, I doubt they're going to have removal for this turn one. Yeah, so they, like, they don't. So we get to get down a Steel Leaf Champion. And there's no way they're killing this turn two. Yeah, yeah, if you can give it trample, <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, I don't know if it's better than Galta, though. Yeah, Karizov's fine. Okay, so I want to play the Blanchwood armor on this. It... But then we get completely, actually we don't, we don't get blown out by, uh, what's it called, uh, unlicensed. So we're playing Blanchard Armor on this, and we're cracking in here for eight. <laughs> As eight damage, and they can't block it. Like, the safer play was probably to play the Hydra, but, like, they need to answer this, this Steel Leaf, like, right now, or they're dead next turn. Oh, on license, come on. A Braid? Mm, yeah, we're in a Flutter Green, okay. But they, they can't beat this, right? Like, it's it's not possible for them to beat this. Do we have lethal next turn? Oh, no, it's only 11. Shoot. Nine to 11. Okay, well, it's only 11, I guess, but... think we want to hold up defense here because I don't see them beating this. Like, I literally don't think they can beat this. Oh, well, the game's over. Thanks for playing, opponent. You can't beat this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, what a silly duck, um, okay, so against the aggro decks, I think we want, hmm, yeah, I think we want some life gain, I don't know how much though. Okay, so Gigantosaurus or whatever seems real bad in this matchup. I think one replaces with Stompers. Again, Gift of Paradise. Or try it like that. I think we're pretty favored in this matchup, actually. So like, oh they mulligan. Um, so like this this hand is actually probably unbeatable for them if we get 
another land. So we're gonna try. We're gonna try it. Um, it could punish us. They, of course, they have a one drop. No, that's great. Okay. Um. Yeah, land would be great. Uh, Druid's okay, but it dies to like a bunch of the remove. Okay. Uh. Yeah, this is a little sketchy. Oh my goodness, we're probably dead. <laughs> That's a little scary. <clears throat> if they have a braid, we're taking so much damage this turn. It's crazy. Taking six damage. I mean, we can't block, like, it's, or can we? Yeah, I, actually, we can block. Oh, we can't, right? Like, oh, they did nothing, okay. It's a tough one, we have three, I think, I think Flymere is a good a good choice here. It's hex proof. Yeah, that's a good choice. Okay, top line's good. Okay, no attack is excellent. Um, yeah, yeah, this is this is good. This is super good because uh, they have no enchantment removal in in mono red. Um, so we gain two life. We add double green, and we play a steel leaf champion, and we're gonna pass here. Yeah, I was just uh, I was just afraid of like a burn spell. I, I maybe I shouldn't have been honestly. I probably should have gone gifts into Chandra Bros. Or Steel Leaf is dead as freaking heck here. Yep, goodbye, Steel Leaf. Okay. Can't really attack here, though. If they only triple block this, that's fine. <clears throat> They're triple. Wow. Okay. That's fine. I cannot believe they did that. That's crazy. <coughs> Mountain? Sure. Phoenix is annoying. Um... I don't. F I th they can't race us, right? Like we have we have armor. Hmm. 
Well, you can't beat this, right? Like, uh, the game's over? Yep. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, Blanchard Armor has been super impressive so far. Um, so it's our last game. Our last round here in this league. Um... I actually really like this deck. It's, it's super fun. The Hexproof cards are insane. Especially with this stupid enchantment. Alright, here we go with round four. We lost the die roll. That's pretty easy mulligan. Oh my goodness, is this how we're gonna go out? <sighs> Come on. I think we're mulling to four, everybody. We're gonna do it. Alright, that's, that's good enough, I guess. Okay, no one drop is good. Is there blue, red, probably Grixis? We are in a really tough spot if this gets us and scattered. It probably will. Or a braided or lightning strike. Or... There's a lot of things that could go wrong here. Okay, harnessing. So there. Some sort of energy deck. I'm sure they're Grixis. Like, New Nickel Bolus is a very strong card, so. Keep in mind we did Mulligan to four. Okay, so. Right, they have nothing, so that's, that's good news. We also have nothing. I think this game's probably over. Um, like if they resolve a glimmer of genius before I get to play a spell, we're probably scooping the Agrix. That's okay. No, no nickel bolus is, is good. Um, Disallow or something? Gross. Okay. That's fine. Uh, if they play like a Scarab God, we're just going to scoot. They play a glimmer, we're conceding immediately. Okay. The Gearhawk man, I know. Gross. Hydra's good. Um, that's not going to resolve, but it's good. Okay. 
think this game is completely over. I don't think we can win it. We mauled a four. Our opponent kept the seven. They're on control. They've had double disallow. We're just super screwed. We need like a super good draw here. That is not a super good draw. So our opponent might not have anything crazy. Either here, so we we there's still we still have outs. Um, that's not one of them. We could draw like a another Leona Carnage Tyrant, and I don't know if our comp our opponent can beat that. Did nothing, that's crazy. I, I think we're gonna fight over the Slender Elves because we if we draw Carnage Tyrant, we can just slam it next turn and they can't kill it. Fine Mirror is an excellent draw that's gonna get countered immediately. So scatter. What, what you got for me, opponent? Glimmer. Okay. Um, this vine mirror resolving would be awesome, and I don't know if our opponent can really beat it. You got like nickel bolus, I guess. So we get to on top with the Zvine Mare, I think we're in good shape, but they have a bullet, so we're just super screwed. Yeah, it works too. Gross. They had Nickel Bullets and Swalter and Sons? Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna we're gonna let, let this we're gonna play still just to see the power of the new nickel bolus. It's gonna flip next turn, and there's literally no way that we can win the game. But we're just gonna get to see the power of the new bolus. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Six. They didn't want to flip it? Why didn't they want to flip it? Just want to game immediately. I can't answer that. I'm on a green. Okay, we get another turn. This game is so over. Um, is it a good carnage turn, I guess? their fun and flip their nickel bolus, I guess. I uh, and their search. Sixth, they can do whatever they want here. There we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, well, our opponent could have flipped their bullets, but they didn't. Alright, so... We're going to bring in Shaper Sanctuary. And Prowling Serper Pards. We're taking out these four... Uh, Gigantosaurus, which this card has been pretty consistently terrible. Uh, and a cartouche. Turns out the uh, five mana or five green mana vanilla is not very good. It was like pretty good one game, I guess, but other than that, I'm not super. Super impressed by it. Alright, we're going to play first. We have to mulligan this. Alright, uh, this is fine. No, we're going to keep that on top. In case our uh, druid dies. Which it probably will. Alright, so they have red removal up next turn. Grixis deck is... I think it has plenty of jank in it. It has, it has Gigantosaurus. Like, that's like the jankiest card I've ever seen. <laughs> A removal spell? It probably is. Yep. Okay. Um, that's fine. We get to get Steel Leaf down next turn. We have another one, too. attack and see what our opponent does. They would take two removal spells here to kill us. <laughs> yep, I got counter. Okay. Mm -hmm. They have knuckle bullets here. We probably just lose. <laughs> So annoying, that card's very good. They have something. Grass is something. Okay. Alright, we get to get a hex proof. Well, a pseudo hex proof threat down next turn. Um, which is pretty good, I guess. Excuse me for one moment, we'll be right back.
Alright. <coughs> Sorry about that. Again, we're still super dead to a bolus here. Alright. We get on top of Hydra, which is pretty exciting. <coughs> Uh, getting this uh, cat sneak thing down is pretty good too. I mean, I'm sure they probably have a, a removal spell for it, but at least it's targeted away from our Hydra. Yeah, it's probably a contempt. Limmer, okay. It's actually not impossible that we win this game. Um, it's super unlikely, but it's not impossible. It's <coughs> Planeswalker, this is Nicol Bolas. Could be any number of things here. Yeah, they're looking for something. That's fine. Is that all they have? That's great. Okay. I think we're going to get down, uh, try and get down the two creatures in our hand. Sarah Plant does. Um, I'm going to play this guy as bait. I'm sure he's going to resolve. I'm sure this is probably not going to resolve. We get super got by, like, Bontu's Last Reckoning, but that card's pretty, pretty medium. I don't, I don't know if I like that card at all in standard, so... <laughs> I want to say it's bad because it like definitely has. This is another glimmer. They're digging hard brass into time. Okay. <clears throat> we just like literally can't beat a Planeswalker or Knuckle Bolus or Scarab God or Trenchal Gear Hall. Grixis is. Grixis has a lot of a lot of stuff going on for it right now. Yep. I guess we could beat this with like a cartouche. We could pump our dude and Yeah. Okay, um Alright, so let's see let's see if our opponent wants to block here. Um I'm sure they probably do. Well, I'm I'm super into Grixis, it's just uh not this could be really bad. Let's see what happens. If they like have a Liliana to reanimate it, we just can't beat this. Okay, um, I think we have to trade with this, because we can't beat Nicol Bolas the Arisen. They only have one card in hand. That card is, is really stupid. <coughs> Wow, what a good draw opponent. Argyle's Bloodfast is so crazy. They can draw two extra cards. That's so good. I think this game's over, folks, but we're gonna we're gonna play it up.
Are you playing the Milduck in standard or is it in modern? There's that, uh, I know there's that new, like, Nas good version of Glamour <laughs> Cheese. Uh, Nas good version of Sphinx's Tutelage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that other new enchantment too. There's the the like the the Nas good Sphinx's Tutelage, and then there's the uh, like the five mana <coughs> draw a card uh, mill three or whatever. I, I'm not I, I'm not too familiar with the all the silly blue cards. All right, Nicol Bolas. All right, we're going to allow our opponent to uh, do their thing with this because we just want to see the power of this card. It's a very powerful card. It's super annoying. What are opponents going to block? Are they, are they that ambitious? I really want them to flip this so we can die to it. Oh yeah, patient rebuilding, that's the, that's the one. Flip it. Come on. That's what, that's what we want to see. I already know we can't win. We cashed the league though. We went 3 2. It's fine. Just flip it. Come on. Yes. Okay, that, that's no fun. Everybody's seen the scare about this boring. Hey. Oh, yeah, I forgot f <laughs> Fring Sandy still exists. Can you please flip the nickel bolus? This is what I'm trying to get <laughs> on the stream here. Please. Please flip it. You have attacked me down to five, seven, and then flip the, flip the nickel bolus. Come on. We're going out with style. I said no.
All right, it looks like they might do it. All right, they're doing it. I mean, this is the, the turn. Turn we're dying, but they're flipping it. Yeah. Bring back a nickel balls so with the nickel balls. Very nice. Oh, if you attack first, we're dead. So. He committed his own balls. Very nice. All right, so, uh, yeah, we went three and two. Um, hopefully, you got to see the power of Nicol Bolas and the not power of Gigantosaurus. Uh, this card is terrible. So it should just be some number of Galtas. Alright, we'll be back in... Hmm, maybe tomorrow or Wednesday. So thank you everybody and enjoy. Enjoy.